Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another quick little video here, which was truly CST game in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, as you can see, we are in the beautiful iFly 737 Max 8 today, and I just wanted to make this quick little video to showcase on how I was able to get my Wing Wing CDU or PNP uh, 3N, whatever you want to call it, basically the FMS for the uh, Boeing to work on the iFly 737 MAX 8. So without any further ado, let's get to some of the things that you will need in order to get your Wing Wing um, CDU or PMP to work with the iFly MAX 8. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is add on over to mobiflight.com and you wanna download MobiFlight. It is completely free, open source, you don't have to pay anything. You just download it and uh, run it, install it. All right. So once you have MobiFlight installed, the very next thing you're going to want to do is obviously launch it. Once you launch it, you'll be in the regular version of uh, MobiFlight. In order to get the Wing Wing uh, CDU to work with MobiFlight, you're going to have to go into the little tab over here that says Extra and then go to Settings. Once in settings, you're going to want to click on the checkbox that says beta version and say, yes, I would like to receive beta version update. It is important that you are in the beta version of MobiFlight. Once you click on that, shut down the MobiFlight, restart it, and, we'll, and it will force an update to update it to the beta version. Now, after you um, launch the beta version, and make sure that you are in beta, there is a couple of other steps you're going to need to take in order for the Wing uh, Wing CDU to work. And uh, you can go ahead and close for right now the Mobi Flight and open up this web page, which will be linked in the description right here, uh, over to the github.com Mobi Flight, Mobi Flight Connector Wiki Installing Python. All right, Python is the external MobiFlight scripting language needed to connect custom aircraft APIs to Wing Wing CDUs. Literally, that's the first line. That's what it says. In order to install Python, obviously, you're going to need to download it. So follow this link, download Python. Once you download Python, launch the application and install it. After you install it, you're going to want to open up your command line and install the PIP install web sockets gpl sim connect first then you're going to install uh the pip install web socket upgrade and then you're going to do the pip freeze so follow this three steps here or actually four step install python and then install the following python packages via the command line as it states here very simple to do just copy and paste this in your command line install these three packages and then after you are done with that you can go ahead and relaunch your uh, Mobi flight and you are good to go to continue with the steps that I'm going to illustrate to you all. So you're going to reopen up Mobi flight. You're going to want to add an output config and then the input configs are going to be all your buttons re related to the um, CDU, such as uh, your your left and right keys on the screen, uh, init ref, route, climb, cruise, all the number buttons, all the letter buttons, the lead clear. You're going to need to assign all those buttons one by one by one. Um, and again, I'll, sh I'll show you guys real quick how that's done. But basically, you're going to add output config, right? Uh, you can rename this to screen if you like. That's what I did with mine. So I will put in there screen. All right. And I'll do check on there. And then after you rename it, you are going to want to go to uh, Actions and just Edit. Okay, once in there, guys, you want to obviously want to choose Output Device, Win Win PFP 3N Captain for Module, LCD Display, LCD Percentage on here. Uh, I'll change this uh, value to 100 and then click Test. And as you can see on the screen right here, the um, the FMC is on the live. Now, after you do this, you can just simply click OK, and you're going to continue doing so by 
editing all your input config lines. How do you do that, you ask? Uh, same thing, you add a input config line, just like I did, and you name it whatever key you want to uh, get to work. So let's say we want to get our init ref key to work on the uh, CDU. You're going to go ahead and select init check mark now this is going to be your init button go to um actions edit module is going to be your pfp obviously device we're looking for our uh, actually an easier way to do this would be to just scan for inputs and then press the respective button and there it is it's already there for you now you're going to go ahead and select the action type, which is going to be Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're going to select the vendor. In our case, we are editing the iFly Max. Aircraft is going to be the 737 Max 8. And systems is going to be your left MCDU. Once you've done that, you go over here to the select preset and look for the key that you are trying to assign to it on the list so make sure you click on the left mcdu and then the type key you want in our case we want the init ref key which is right here so we'll click on that once you've done that you press ok and there it is now we're going to stop this and rerun it and as you can see let's see if i can get a good shot of it right here look at the init key right here we're going to press it and you can see that the key in the actual sim is actually working. Now you're gonna to continue to do this for everything, all the other keys. In my case, I've already done it. I have a full uh, config file ready to go. So I'm gonna load the config file and show you guys how this works. All right, guys, as you can see in my config file, I went ahead and created every single line item that I need to get this uh, um, FMS to work. So I started with the screen and then I moved on with the left side buttons, which are these buttons right here. So you got left one uh, left LS, LSK key, one, two, three, four, five and six. You're going to have the right LSK key, one, two, three, four, five and six. And then obviously you're going to want to map all your uh, respective in it uh, route climb cruise and all that good stuff and what i did is like i said i went one by one and i assigned everything to its respective buttons including the numbers including the dot uh plus minus all that stuff is uh in the ifly max 8 uh um profile here or or presets if you wish uh, in order for you to be able to map all this good stuff. So in order to show you guys how it works uh, and how similarities work, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a uh, flight plan and kind of try to program that in the uh, FMC uh, or FMS itself. Hi, guys. So we're in the plane. Obviously, we're looking at the um, FMS here. Um, we are sitting in San Diego. So I did a quick little flight from San Diego to um, LAS. So let's proceed by you know, using our CDU here or FMS, whatever it is you want to call it, to go ahead and uh, get our flight plan uh, in the in uh, all, all program ready to go. Now, I'm sorry about the the way the camera is right here; it's not focusing very well. It's it's a little closer than than usual, so I'm trying to get a good shot for you guys. But anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and set our position. We're gonna go to the next page. We're gonna copy our left GPS in the scratch pad, and we're gonna paste that bad boy in there. And there it is. Then we're going to go to route and we're going to request our route. We're going to wait for a few seconds here for that route to come through. And there it is. We're going to go ahead and click on the load page. And we're going to go ahead and activate and execute that route. Perfect. Now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and select our departures here. Uh, coming out of uh, runway 27, obviously, here in San Diego. And uh, let's bring up our sim brief panel here so we know what the hell we're doing. Here's 
here's my sim brief panel and my summary is uh coming out of runway 27 on the padres uh padres 2 so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the next page here select the uh, padres 2 and we're doing that via chicken perfect and uh, we can go back to our uh, we can go ahead and click execute on there actually and then we can go back to our index page oh sorry our departure and arrival page get our arrival going here uh, right now we are planning the ILS approach runway 26 so we'll uh, we'll do the ILS Zulu I think that's what I usually do into um, uh, Las Vegas uh, we're doing that via the renders 3 with Mason. So we'll do uh, next page. Next page. Renders 3 is right here. Mason. And via Prino, I believe, is what we want. Uh, we're going to go ahead and execute on that as well. Perfect. We'll go back to our route here. And we can go ahead and set up our performance. Zero fuel weight is there perfect our cost index is going to be 39 it's already there so we can go ahead and clear that perfect uh reserve uh what we're we looking at as far as reserve is concerned uh we're looking at 2.0 on the reserve punch that bad boy in there we are cruising at flight level 290 that has already been pre-filed pre uh and put it in there for us uh if we want to continue by doing some of the uh, average wind components which is going to be two three three uh at 73 we can put that in there uh our isa deviation is going to be four degrees celsius we can put that bad boy in there as well and then we can just execute everything and everything is good to go in there and one limit there it is you can just you know select whatever d rate you might want and then you can go to the takeoff page. Uh, we are coming out of here, flaps 5. Our CG is going to be 24.1. And then we can just line select our VR speeds or do your calculation if you wish to do so. And then just input them yourself if you wish, just like that. And uh, that's it, guys. You can go into the actual leg page and you can look at your flight plan. You can make changes to it if you wish. Um whatever it is you want to do guys this thing works flawlessly you can go back to the menu uh fmc you can take a look at your uh, uh departure and approach like i said before uh your fixed page uh your progress page and one again the fix um uh the old it's all there your route um uh, I haven't assigned the climb to nothing, uh, but the climb is pr I'm probably going to assign it to VNAV. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, you got e everything is there, ladies and gentlemen. Everything works as it should. Um, and it's responsive uh, to milliseconds, as you can see. Like clicking the buttons just changes everything right away, just in, in, in good old win uh, uh, wing fashion. So there it is. Um, flawlessly, flawlessly works. Uh, through mobile flight uh, it is not perfect uh, some of the lights i haven't got to work yet like my execute light and uh the lights the led lights here on the side i'm pretty sure that's just something i'm missing but once i can i figure that out i'll let you guys know uh you know via discord message or whatnot just to summarize you're going to want to download mobile flight you're going to want to go into the better version of mobile flight install python uh line install those three items via command line uh and then launch your mobile flight um and do all your actions you know your screen your buttons assign all your buttons it's all very easy very intuitive um it does take a little a little while because you got to literally assign every single button but once you get it working man it's an absolute pleasure to use uh to finally have uh, a working um fms with uh ifly max i absolutely love it all right, guys, and with that said, if you did indeed enjoy this video, please smash that like, comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. If you're not a subscriber, obviously consider subscribing. And until next time, as I always tell you guys, I salute you all. Please continue to stay safe, have fun, and as always, peace out.